Wild Child, hey, a question. If I give you the choice between these meal or this cute little stuffed animal, which would you choose? The teddy bear. The teddy bear? All yours? Thank you. All the best. Hey, a question. If I gave you a choice between these delicious meal or this teddy bear, which would you choose? The teddy bear. Are you sure? All yours. Take it, my friend. Excuse me, friends. If I gave you the choice between this delicious meal or this cute stuffed unicorn, which would you choose? Mm, I like this. It's very beautiful. No, no, no. The meal. But... Sure you want the food? Yes, sure. You want the meal and you want the unicorn? No, the food. You really want the food? Uh -huh. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Well, here they are, girls. Take it and tell me, please. How much for the candies? Three for one dollar, sir. Oh, they are very cheap. Can you sell me one? But wait, girls. Do you live around here? Why are you selling popsicles? Because, well, my mom went to get some food, but we didn't have enough money to buy the meal, and so we wanted to come and help her out. Oh, okay, that's very nice, girls. And what are your names? Well, I am Paula, and she is... I am Regina. Regina and Paula. What pretty names. Hey, thank you very much for accepting the food. And did you like the stuffed animal a lot then? Yes, it's pretty cute. Does your mom is around here or do you live around here? Where do you live? Some blocks away. How many blocks? We live like two or three blocks away. Two or three blocks? All right. Hey, and it's a good thing you're close by. I mean, I don't want you to go too far because, well, I don't want you to be in danger. How many candies have you sold? Well, not even one yet. None yet? Um, we just arrived here like about 10 to 15 minutes ago. Just arrived here outside the restaurant? Girls, have you had anything to eat then? No. Not yet. You haven't eaten nothing, right? No. Would you like to go and buy some cookies or anything? Trust me, I am dedicated to make people happy. And what do you think about me buying all your popsicles? Can I buy all your candies? Yes. Yes. Are you coming with me? We are going to look for your mommy too. Over there is local supermarket where we can buy whatever you want. Okay, girls, don't be scared. Feel free to pick anything. You can buy some cookies, juice, chips, or whatever you want, okay? So you can take it home with you. But wait, are you sure that we can take, like, whatever we want? Of course want? you can. Don't be shy and come. Look over there, some eggs. If you want to get some, just throw it here in the bag. Do you want a loaf of bread? There's over there. Bread? Well, we already have some. Take ones. You can take more food. Take as many as you want. Girls, take whatever you want to bring just for your mommy, okay? Soups. What else would you like? Tuna. It's very good so that you will fed quite well some oil some beans all right and what more do you want some mayonnaise do you want some cookies no no some juice no oh we missed the milk let's go do you like it Yes. Come on, let's go pay. So, girls, how did you like this food? Did you like it? Yes, we like I'm it. I'm very pleased yes. that you accepted this small gift. It's not much, but I'm sure you mommy would love it. I haven't even introduced myself. Nice to meet you girls. My name is Pepe. Your name you told me, was it? Paola. Regina. My pleasure, girls. Thank you for accepting the food. And the most interesting thing of all, which caught my attention, was that you decided to accept the food. You already put it in your little bag. I saw it. Tell me, tell me something. What do you like to eat your tortillas with? Like, like some ham and cheese? Ah, that's delicious ham and cheese meal. Those are very tasty. Hey, but I can see in your little faces that you are sad. Are you sad or something? Yes, a bit. Why, what happened? We miss dad a lot. You miss your daddy a lot? What happened to your daddy? 
um, my dad left my mom with a lot of debts. So Regina and I decided to work to help my mom with all that debts we have because we love her. Okay, and hey girls, how old are you? Nine. Nine, Nine years old and you are already selling. And where is your mom? What does she do? Seamstress. Seamstress, and how is she doing? Know that well. Know that well. Okay, so do you live from what you sell and you spend it buying your food every day? Yes. That's how you live, right? Listen, I want to ask you something and I want you to be very honest with me. Are you studying? No. no. Are you not studying? Would you like to go to the school? Yes. Of course I would like to go to school. Me too. Do you have any friends? We have some... Some here outside. Only have friends on the street? Only a few friends on the streets. Do you work all your time? Yes. Oh my god, and how has the sale been going? It's not going well yet. It is not going well. How much did you say they cost? This is three candies for one. Three for one dollar. Hey, that's great. It's a good deal. I really like that you are on the street working instead doing bad things. Please, never do bad things, girls. Don't sell anything bad either, girls, okay? No. We'll never... Are you good girls? Yeah. Did you like what you bought? We liked it very much. We like it. I'm glad. Hey. How long has your daddy been gone? Or why did he leave? About two or one year ago. One or two years ago? And do you know where your daddy is? Have you seen him? No. No. Haven't you seen him? No. Tell me about it. It's just that they fought a lot. They had to get divorced. Now we don't have any money. My mom work a lot for us. But we need to help her. It hurts me because you are just little girls. You should be playing or studying in school, doing your homework. Would you like to study? Yes. Yes. What would you like to study or be when you grow up? Marine biologist. Marine biologist and you? I think I want to be a dancer. I see you making true your dreams, participating in international dance competitions. Wouldn't you like to travel? Traveling to an international dance competitions or to explore the seas? Would yes. you like it? It's really nice to meet you girls. Your mommy, you say she lives around here? Two blocks yes. away. And does your mom have a cell phone? No. No. Well, right now, if you want, let's go to your house and leave the food for you. We can give her the surprise. How do you see? So today you can have for dinner taquitos of beans or some eggs. But before we go, what was the last thing you ate? Chicken. Chicken with what? No. Nothing. Chicken with nothing? Just chicken. Only chicken without sauce or tortillas? No. Tortillas? No. Well, you didn't have any, right? But now you have some. What are you having for dinner tonight? Whatever. Whatever you can. It's a good thing you're not picky. And you? What are you craving for dinner? Whatever we can prepare with this food. Well, now you can prepare sandwiches, you can prepare cereal, you can prepare tuna fish. Do you like tuna? Yes. Yes. Very good girls. I am glad to hear that. Is she your mommy? I was looking for you girls. Why did you left? Paula, who's the man? He is a friend. But you can't talk with the strangers. Why are you with this man? Don't be scared, ma'am. Look, I'm very pleased to meet you. My name is Pepe. But you know you can't go with strangers. Look, he bought us a surprise mom. What's that? I'm really sorry. It's just that I came out of the restaurant and saw them selling candies. I left them waiting for me. I told them I was just going to buy some fabrics and I was coming back. I was really scared. I'm really sorry. I saw them selling their popsicles. 
and just asked them if they wanted a teddy bear or some tortillas as a social experiment. Come here, girls. Ma'am, I was very surprised that they decided to choose tortillas and we were just talking. Nothing happened to your girls. They were just telling me a little bit of the story of your life. Are you all right? I'm really sorry if I scared you. I want to offer you a huge apology. I don't know if you have five minutes to talk with me. Are you all right? Yes. Okay, just because I can tell they are okay. I'm really sorry, ma'am. We were just on our way to your house. I'm just around the corner. From where I left them at the restaurant. I'm just two blocks away, but I was trying to protect them from the sun. I don't know why they moved. I offer you a sincere apology. Believe me, absolutely nothing happened. I just took them to the market to buy some groceries. They chose some themselves. Ma'am, can you take a seat to chat with me? Thank you very much for agreeing to talk to me. You have two really good girls. Ma'am, can I ask your name? My name is Patricia. Mrs. Patricia, thank you very much. I already introduced myself. My name is Pepe. And believe me, I'm very surprised that the girls have chose tortillas. I came to them offering a stuffed animal, a very pretty unicorn stuffed animal, or some tortillas. And they decided to accept the tortillas instead of the stuffed animal at their age. They are only nine years old, and believe me, it broke my heart to see them there selling the popsicles and... I mean, instead of studying, instead of being at school, instead of being at home, what really caught my attention is that they answered the question about why they were selling. Your girls told me that it was to help you. I think there are very few daughters like that, and... And believe me, it filled my heart that they answered that. Your girls are amazing. Girls, do you want to go and play? Can you send them to play here to the little park in the back? Go, please. Give me a kiss. Your girls are very pretty, Mrs. Patricia. Your juice. Ma'am, when I approached your girls a little while ago, when you weren't there, I just asked a few questions. The two of them were together, and their answer was clear. They told me, we are selling popsicles to help my mother. They told me a little bit, very briefly, about your story, ma'am. That your husband is no longer with you. He left a few years ago. Now I'm a single mom. And yes, we've had a very, a little bit difficult life. I'd like to make it easier for the girls, because the truth is that they are very good little girls. I can tell they are excellent doters. And they always support me. But it has been complicated for me. Well, it's been complicated for us since I became single. May I ask what happened? Did you get divorced? Yes, of course I did. I'm already divorced. It did take me a while. Then I had to go to social institutions that supported me. What do you do for living? But here I am. I am seamstress. I do some little jobs. As seamstress, don't have many options. Listen, I am going to give you a job. I have some pants there. Haha, <laughs> that was just a little joke. No worries. This is the only kind of job that I can do. Used to be just a housewife, of course, our lives changed. Now I understand everything. I had to find a way to get to work and take care of my girls. But I really need their help. It's not that easy, honestly. May I ask, how much does a package of popsicles cost? A pack of popsicles. Well, I wouldn't have them for me selling them. Just one, Paula particularly loves selling them. So this I have her. But we always walk together, near the restaurant. But it's just a few minutes and a few minutes at a time. So this is the way they like it and they want to help me. I know that the responsibility is mine. Well, but the package costs less than five. You just said something key, that we know it is your responsibility, but the responsibility also that you have as a mother is to have raised them that way. And my respects, Mrs. Patricia, you educated them very well at the time of the answer. Other children would have chosen the teddy bear. 
I asked other children what they would choose, tortillas or a toy. And obviously children are children, and they took the toy. I would like to know a little bit more about you. Do you live alone? Right now we are in a or little with your room parents? for rent. It's near here, and it's just the two girls and me. We buy our clothes in the street markets, and that's how I can dress them. And the truth is that I was left... He left me in a lot of debts. Did he leave you in debt? Yes, my situation was different. I was a housewife, so yes, I was left with... I was left with, with a lot of debts. Look, it makes me sad to hear that, but seeing your girls... Lady, believe me, you are a warrior and a super powerful mom. Tell me a little bit about your debts. How much is it? How it's going with that? How hard is it for you? The truth is that he left me on the street, from one day to the next. In the place where we used to live, I was left in the street. And then I was alone with the children, and as they say to me, the girls are... They are my driving force, and I would like to help them more. And I make an effort, and I try. And the truth is that it is very difficult. It is very difficult. I have wanted... In fact, this... After I got divorced, I have asked for child support, and I don't receive anything. So I'm looking for help, and I don't know where to go. And I'm really ashamed to have no, to No, 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 no. Shame on people who because steal. Because my children are everything to me. I'm sorry, I just... It's just that my... No, 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 nothing to forgive. ...are everything to me? Well, I would like to give them more. And I try hard. I promise you I'm trying hard. And I'd like everything to work out better, right? Nothing to forgive, madam, I'm really. I'm very sorry you found them like this. I really try to always take care of them. No, ma'am, on the contrary. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you, and believe me that... Believe me, I am very grateful to you. Believe me. Well, look, the girls told me that... Since you were not doing very well, a little bit about the situation, I wanted to go deeper into that. And believe me, well, that little bit of food is going to help them for maybe two or three days. Thank you very much. But I would like to be able to help them and, well, I don't know, maybe enroll them in a school. They're girls. Well, how? The truth is that they tell me about their dreams, and for me, it is very sad. She already told me that she wants to be a marine biologist. Yes, the other one she wants, wants to dance. To dance. Exactly. And I would like to give them to her. But the truth is that I don't have the possibilities right now. Right now, your chances are not right now. No, it can't be. And what do you think if I tell him that maybe he's not here now, but in an hour he will be? Well, how? It is not possible. Of course you can. Everything is possible in this life. I have tried many times and in many ways, and I Don't you cannot. believe? No, I don't. I couldn't. Look. What do you say you and your girls come with me? I have a little tour here, very close. It's just that... Madam, excuse me, with all due respect, but one of your girls told me that she really liked the unicorn, the stuffed animal I was offering them, and I would like to give them, well, some toys, so they can play without any intention of offending. On the contrary, so that they can have, well, toys in their house, and maybe give them another little surprise, a very small one. Trust me, ma'am, I do this with the best of intentions. Please do not be afraid. I would like to, but it scares me, because that doesn't happen in real life. You don't think it will happen? No. And if I told you that today would be the day it would happen, what would you think? It's something almost impossible. Something impossible? Incredible. Look, I want to offer you my vote of confidence. I want to offer you my hand, even... I want you to shake my hand, really and with all confidence and certainty. I can even, I can lend you my identification, if you like, so that you can trust me, so that you know where I live, and you and your girls can accompany me on a little tour for some surprises that I already mentioned, one of the two surprises I have for your girls, and for you too, obviously. Well, if they want to go, let's go. See, talk to her if you like. Daughters, come here a little bit. Okay, they already come one on top of the other. Come... Look, Mr. Pepe is telling us that he has a surprise for you, and I want to know if you want to go. And if you are sure... Do you want to go? Let's see, but I have to ask you a question before we go. What is the toy you like the most? The dolls? A doll, and you? Something to do with play. Something to do with play do all. Well, say no more. Ma'am, come with me, Mrs. Patricia, will you? Yes, 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 let's go. Come on, bring your pantry too. 
Girls, Mrs. Patty, we're already here at the toy store. We have it behind us. And please, please, girls, I know you want... You said some plasticine, and you? A Barbie. A Barbie? Ah, oh, well, and you, ma'am, do you want some toys? I what they no, want. No, no, whatever they want. Oh, well, look then, let's go inside and get whatever you want, okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you excited? High five! More excited girls! That's it! What do you want? Anything you want, take it. Grab it. Did you like that one? Are you sure? Let's see, which one is it? Ah, uh, these are the cartoons, how pretty. If you like it well, let's go. Are you sure? Sure. Mrs. Patty, girls, do you like the surprise? Did they like the gift? Yes. He chose the plasticine and you the doll. How cool, did you like it? How yes. cool, I am very happy really that they have that smile. I told them, you see ma'am, you wanted to, well now you can't trust and you see, look, I am a good person. I dedicate myself to that together with my team. It was just a social experiment, which, well, I dedicate myself just to that, to find people who are carrying a weight in their lives, who are carrying a lot of problems on their shoulders. And you, believe me, were no exception and God sent you just like that. I haven't seen my daughters like this for a long time, really. Really? Truly, I am very no, grateful no, to you. No, no, nothing to be thankful for, ma'am. Nothing to thank you for. On the contrary, you for being an excellent mother, a warrior mother who is going to take your girls forward. Believe me, yes, you see, I can already see that they are very excited about their toy. Well, I am very happy. They did like it, didn't they? Yes. Well, 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 I am very pleased that you liked your gift. And I have a little surprise for you, very small, but yes, a little surprise that, well, the production and I have prepared for you, ma'am, too. And, well, they are two surprises, two small surprises, but I hope you like them, okay? Who wants the surprise? First to your mother. You or you? My mom. Your mom. All right, well, ma'am, you told me a little while ago that, well, the work you do is seamstress, right? Yes. Let me tell you something. I have some friends who are very, very close to me, and they have companies. They need workers, in which they need someone to manage. Well, now they do. And I proposed her to you. I just sent them a message. They told me, of course, bring her. She is welcome in this company. And you, from now on, you have a stable job, so that you can stop struggling, so that you can stop so that she is no longer worried about whether she will have money or not. Are you serious? You already have a job, Mommy. Is it serious? Yes, of course. You are going to work in one of the best companies, and you are not going to be a worker. You are going to be a full-fledged administrator. Since you have, with, now you have the best studies in dressmaking, they already told me that you do very good jobs. Thank you. I just can't believe it. Mrs. Potty, no, 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 on the contrary, thank Everything you. is for my girls, thank you very much. Just thank God he is the good one who has blessed us so that we can share all this with you. I haven't seen my girls this happy for a long time. This is wonderful, Pepe. They will be able to have the life they deserve. The surprise I have for you two girls is that you told me you wanted to go to school, didn't you? Are you sure? Sure, yes. Well, this coming Monday, which is almost here, you are going to be in the best, or rather, in the best school in town. And you are going to learn English, Spanish, and French. Well, you already have Spanish. Yes, but English and French, how about that? How do you see? I like it, I like it, I like it. Did you like the surprise? Yes. High five. 
All right, give it to her. If you like speaking English, yes. Are you excited? And very grateful indeed. I'm very happy, Mrs. Patty, that that you have excellent daughters. Thank you very much. Many thanks to you. For having accepted that kilo of tortillas, girls. Believe me that you are blessed to have a mother like the one you have, who is working very hard. And ma'am, you have to give it your all. I am Remember, very pleased you have to raise grateful. two girls. And you already have the best job. Can I have a hug? Yes. Me too.